Okay, so this is your tutorial. Hello, so those of you that need a change up or you need a variation or just need to go through the routine, this is for you. So our first exercise, plyometric side jumps. So the trick is you need to jump sideways, not backwards, you jump in sideways. So when you jump, you jump side, jump to the side, tap, jump to the side. The further you jump, the harder this is. If you're finding that difficult, you can just do straight taps or tap jumps if you wish. You can do that, that's your alternative. So that's your first exercise. Are we ready? So go. Side, side, side. Notice I'm going side on. Not back to front, side. Okay, so that's how it looks. It's really hard. Looks easy, but it's not. Always the ones that look the easiest are the, generally the hardest. The second one, so you need to get down onto your mat and you need a plank position. I'm gonna do this on the side for you. So, in your plank position, you're gonna bring one knee up to the opposite side, up in line with your hips, bring this hand up, the opposite hand to the opposite leg up, and then go back down. So, jump in, jump out, then add a jump. Kind of like breakdancing. <laughs> kind of like breakdancing, yeah. But like the beginner's version. <laughs> Ain't no stopping us. No stopping. So yeah, kind of like breakdancing, but engage your core, okay? If this is too difficult for you, you're going to keep your hands here and you're just going to step over and step over and step over. Whenever you need a rest, put your knees on the floor. That's fine. That's your rest, okay? That's your alternative. Look, I'm sweating. It's going to be a good workout today. So your third one. Reverse push-ups. I use my equaliser. Again, those of you at home, get yourself your chairs with your bars or whatever you're using. Exercise three. Come down into your equaliser. Try not to sweat everywhere. You're gonna do one with your legs straight and then one with your legs bent. So you always have a slight bend in your knee. Lift up, breathe, take it down. Then bring your knees in, go up, take it down and then take it out. Obviously, if you keep your knees in, that's gonna be a lot less intense. So if you keep your knees in all of the time, that's gonna be a lot less intense and also you can have a break, put your body down on the floor in between sets. So to make it a little bit easier, just come up a little way, go back down, have a rest. Come up, go back down, have a rest. Okay, there's loads of ideas on the Facebook and on the website what people are using if you don't have this equipment. They're using chairs, they're using kitchen tables, they're using the side of the table, loads of different things. So make sure you get on that. Write down your scores and post them. Okay, exercise four. This one took me to the edge. It's gonna involve everything. It's involving a side plank, it's involving a push-up, so you put all of your weight on your upper body and you're also then taking your weight off your whole body, balancing it on your arms and engaging your core. And then we want you to do a tuck jump. I know. So let's see how this looks. So you're gonna to jump to the side, straight body line. Notice one hand is in front, one hand's at the side. So two push-ups, weight is over my arms. Then one knee, take it down, jump in, one tuck jump and then you're gonna swap sides. Okay, those of you that need an alternative, this is how it's gonna look. You can take out the jump if you wish. So if I take out the jump, I'm gonna step. You can either put your side on the floor and do two push-ups, and then come back up and then do a knee and then step back in and just do a jump. You can do that, that's fine. Or if you want to make it intermediate, you're gonna step, two small push-ups, add a knee, jump in and then tuck jump. Remember, if you just do the moves, but just decrease the movement, makes it a little bit easier, but you're still gonna work your muscles up to thinking about that move, working that muscle to remember to do next time you do it, you're gonna find it a bit easier, okay? So that's your alternative. I'm sweating so much, I apologize. We've got scope to do. We don't give up yet, we don't quit. Those of you out there, I wanna know if you're sweating as much as me, if you enjoyed this workout as much as me, get posting on the Facebook and on the website. I love hearing from you. So let's get some sculpting and then we can enjoy the rest of our day. Well done everybody, good job.